everybody, Sydney here. So I just came back from a four day long blackout. So now I'm finally back in my home and now I can give you guys some more booktube. Yay! So today I will be talking about the book, The Universe vs. Alex Woods by Gavin Extens. I actually don't know any of the people who have read this. Nobody on booktube that I know of has read this. I actually read this through my English class as part of our English project that we had to do and I actually quite enjoyed the book. It's fairly new. The, this is the writer's first book, Gavin Extents. He's a British writer and if you don't know me yet, I'm completely obsessed with London and Britain and England and Scotland and anything in that little United Kingdom I am in love with. And so this book really intrigued me just because the writer was British. And it's very, very good. It's about a boy named Alex Woods, who from the moment he turns 10, the universe doesn't like him very much. He gets hit by a meteor and then he discovers that he has epilepsy. And because of this, he actually gets bullied. And one day when he is running away from the bullies, he actually... Uh, he trespasses onto an older man's yard and he meets this man, his name is Mr. Peterson, and they actually become great friends. And it's about how Mr. Peterson influences the way he grows up and what Alec, what and who Alex becomes. So it's a really, really great read. It's contemporary. It's a great coming of age story and it really puts you into the mind of somebody who goes through issues like the ones that both Mr. Peterson and Alex have. And it's actually really sad because we had to go through a book talk in our school library before we got this project, and the librarian spoiled the ending for us. So it kind of sucks. Um, also, the way the book starts is it starts with Alex at 17 years old, and he's driving, he's trying to get back into England through the Dover... Um, uh, he's trying to get over the border back into England and they, he gets pulled over and he, they discover that he has a lot of money in his car he's also an unlicensed driver and he has a, lot, a bunch of marijuana in the glove compartment as well as an urn sitting beside him on the front seat and then from there it spins back into and he's 10 and this, the whole story starts and it's honestly it's a really really great read it really makes you rethink life it really makes you think about your opinion on certain topics, certain world issues. And I can't really tell you more than that without spoiling it for you, but it's really, really good. So this is for the all non-spoilery people. Bye bye And I go pick up this book if you want to. If you don't want to, I won't be offended. And yes, so bye, non-spoilery people. I'll see you later. Bye. Alright, hello there, spoilery people, hello people who read this book. So, I actually quite, like, I really did enjoy it. Uh, yeah, my librarian, the minute she she picked up this book, she went, it's about this boy who meets this old man and this old man's suicidal. And we're like, great. We didn't, we didn't know that it was, like, a major plot point, the fact that he had, he wanted to kill himself. So I wish we did, I didn't have to know that before I read the book. But yeah, um, the universe really is against Alex Woods. I didn't realize this before. <laughs> he really is against him. He really, really hates him. I just, I mean, first the meteor, then the epilepsy, then the bullying, and then, I mean, the universe really is just against him, one thing after another. But I've discovered a lot, a lot about Alex's character is that he socializes better with adults more than with kids his own age. I think what's really, really cool about this character because he, from the moment he's 10, I, um, just the way the book is written is, you know, when he's 10, he talks like a 10 year old. When he's 17, he talks like a 17 year old. Um, but all throughout it, he's really, really good at talking and communicating with adults. So I think that's really, really cool because the only socialization he's had with kids his age, the major socialization, is with those bullies and with Ellie. So, I really, I really, really like the, I really like the way it's written and the way, and his character and how it grows.
Uh, okay, I shipped Ellie and Alex from the from the first time they met when she had her piercings, and I I'm so happy when they finally kissed. I was so happy. And funny thing, because we had to have these book talks for our English project, so I would sit there and we would talk with my group, and I would go, "Oh my gosh, okay, Ellie, Ellie, Ellie and Alex, they're gonna get together. They're gonna get together." And she went, and "They're like, no, they're not gonna get together." I'm like, watch it happen, and I literally read it, and I called my friend, and I went, I told you so! I told you! And I was really happy. Um, also, I was surprised at how, at some parts, how funny it could get. It was actually pretty ironic, because my teacher, when she first gave us this book, said, oh, I was like crying at the beginning, I was laughing so hard, and then the end gets really sad. My entire group were reading this, and every week we meet up, and we're like, we're not finding it funny. But then near the end, it actually got really funny, which is pretty sad. This is one quote that he has. Oh, oops, that kind of went away. I don't know if I can find it. Let's see if I can find this. So, it's from. So it's basically when they're when Alex and Sir Peterson are talking about how they're gonna escape from the hospital, and he goes. And Alex goes. I found a thought about this for a while. You know, I'm fairly sure rece reception staff around the clock, and it's definitely staff during visiting hours. I don't think there's going to be any moment when we can just wheel you out no, no, unnoticed. Miss Pearson goes, maybe not, but there are times when we're much less likely to be detained. If you can get past reception unseen, so much the better. If we can't, we'll have to try subterfuge. If that fails, our best bet is speed. Speed? I lower my voice to a whisper. You want me to wheel you as fast as I can towards the lifts and hope for the best? Yes, if necessary. What kind of backup plan is that? It's a backup backup plan. <laughs> like, I was just laughing so hard because I could picture them bickering, but the thing is, because Mr. Pearson at this point can't actually talk and he has to write it, I was just laughing really, really hard because I could just picture him like just ranting to him and Miss Pearson was like trying to scribble it down and like I could just picture the kind of the tone in his voice if he could speak. And yeah, I could find that pretty funny. Um, I guess actually one of the good things though that my librarian kind of spoiled it for me was that me and my friends when we were reading it were sitting there thinking like how on earth, like why was he going to kill himself? Why? We wanted to know the reason why the entire time. When we finally found out that he had this condition, this disorder, we suddenly were like, Oh, I see. He wants to kill himself before the disease kills him. Got it. Like, so then we finally, like, the searching was done for. Um, the last few chapters of the book, I have to say, brought out a lot of emotion in me. I definitely cried the moment Alex broke down against the car and like we had stopped on the highway and he had to ball, ball his eyes out. I definitely cried there. That was a huge moment for me in the tears of the yeah, universe versus Alex Woods. And yeah, it was, um, I didn't cry as much as I thought I would. I thought those kinds of books where you can just, like where it brings you to a place where you just tear up or cry or the same goes for TV shows and same goes for movies. Those are my favorite kinds of books, TV shows and movies. Because even though they hurt, like, it hurts. It is honest, like, you know it's a good book or a movie or TV show when it can make you feel that way. So this is definitely a good read. And I quite enjoyed it. I really hope he writes more because I might, may or may not pick it up. So I had a lot of fun reading that book, I had a lot of fun talking to you guys. Sorry if I look real really bad, but I just took a shower because I haven't been able to take one for the past four days. And I have a bunch of stuff that I need to talk to you about and do things about. Um, the Doctor Who Christmas special, I will definitely be getting to that sometime. I still haven't quite accepted what's happened, what happened in that episode. So my mind, like I, I don't feel ready to talk about it because I will, probably will break down in tears on camera. So that's gonna have to wait a little while but I'll get to it. Um, I also need to do an Allegiant review and a Clockwork Princess review because I was able to finish those two books over the Booktubeathon. So those will be coming up soon and I love you guys and subscribe if you haven't already and like this video if you do, if you liked it I guess. And follow me on all my social networks if you want to see what's going on with my life. Alright, I'll see you guys next time.